like a combination of area control and hand management. So if you think of it in you know military terms, you're not uh, Stannis, you're Varys. So you're playing to be declared the next ruler rather than playing as any one particular group. Okay. Uh, the game will happen over eight rounds in a random order that's decided at the start of the game and most of this layout is random as well. That should be too red. And each player has two starting cubes. So the cubes that are in front of you represent the influence you have within either the Scottish, the Welsh or the Romans. Yep. Cubes that are on the board represent the influence that those groups have in the country. Yep. You each have eight cards, that are, everybody has the same set. Um, and what those cards do is they'll either let you add pieces to the board or move pieces around the board. Yep. When you play a card, you take whatever the action is on the card, which I will explain in just one second, and then you remove a piece from somewhere on the board and put it in front of yourself. So obviously the more strength you have within a particular group, the weaker that group becomes. At the end of the game, one of these groups will be in control of more of the board than the others, and you want to be the person who has the backing of that group. Um, the, any of the areas that haven't yet been resolved, you can play in or you can remove pieces from. You can play cards as often as you like, but you only have eight cards to last you the entire game, so it pays to really pick your battles. And once everybody has consecutively passed, the round immediately ends. So you can pass and play again if somebody else has played as a reaction to that. Yeah. But if you pass thinking somebody else might play, and they then pass, you can't come back in, it's done. Okay. Uh, plays about a half an hour for his second or third game, but about 45 minutes for a first game. Um, and that is it, I believe. Um, any questions? Cards. Oh yes, the cards. And also, there is one other thing. If it, uh, if there's a tie in any of the regions, then it falls to invasion, and the Saxons come in. And if four areas get invaded, the game immediately ends. Um, so, cards. Um, these two, which are the same, means you take one piece of each colour from the common pool and put them wherever you like. This, this one means you take one piece from any area and swap it for one piece from any other area. Yeah. This one is a two for one swap, but the areas have to be bordering each other. Okay. Um, this one means you change up the order of the power struggles. So you take any one of these cards, swap it with any other one of these cards, and then put a token on it to prevent the one of the two you've just swapped from being swapped by the end. The reason that carries merit is because at the end of the game, if there's a tie between the factions, whichever one was the later one to gain control of an area is the winning faction. Okay. And the last three then are just in each of the colors. You take two pieces of the given color and place them in an area that's adjacent to an area that's controlled by that group. Okay. So at the start of the game, this counts as blue, this counts as red, this counts as yellow, but obviously that will change. This could be taken over by somebody else. This could become a yellow area, so your flexibility on these cards peaks around the middle of the game. Um, I'm sorry, if it's tied? It if it's tied, it goes to the Saxons, and nobody gets the win. Okay. If the Saxons take it, which is extremely unlikely, but does happen, the winner of the game is the person with the most matching sets of pieces, because they're deemed to have united the tribe to fight off the invaders. <laughs> <laughs> is every, every section start with four? Yeah, everything. Oh, sure. Does anywhere have five? And how do you set these spaces? So there's always two pieces here, two blue here, two red here, two yellow here, and everything else is random. Random is placed. Just draw them out of the back. Okay. Okay. How many players? Uh, two to four. So with four you play in pairs, with two or three it's three. Think. I like it. I don't know how you try to get it. It's, it's gorgeous. gorgeous. Here's so. a cheat sheet for what each of the cards does. It's, it's absolutely it's gorgeous. gorgeous. Have a look. The really is. Zero plastic tray. In the box expansion as well, which tweaks things a little bit, but it way overcomplicates things. Yeah. 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 